Hey guys, it's Megan. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my long-awaited desk makeover. I mentioned doing this a few months ago, and honestly, I haven't gotten around to it because I haven't been working at my desk as much recently. This isn't a huge epic transformation like my craft room makeover was, but I still hope that you guys will enjoy it. And I want to apologize really quick for my voice. I know that it sounds a little bit scratchy, and that's just because I don't even know. I have really bad allergies, and maybe that's what it is, so I'm sorry. With all of that out of the way, here's a quick look at what my desk looked like before. Surprisingly, I don't think that it looks that bad. I mean, it's a little bit cluttered, but it's not terrible. I consider this whole corner of my room my desk area. At the top, we have some Funko Pops and some random stuffed animals sitting on my curtain rod. I used to have curtains hanging here, but you know, my cat decided to pee on them, so don't have those anymore. I use the windowsill kind of like a shelf because there aren't any shelves in my room, and up there I had basically just a bunch of random things that I didn't know where else to put. Below that, we have my actual desk. This was my mom's desk when she was a kid, and then it was my cousin's desk, and then my cousin painted it black and white, and I've had it since about 7th grade. It has a hutch that goes with it, but the hutch is really tall and it would block the window, so I don't have it in here right now. Beside my desk, I have this white thing that used to be one of those days of the week clothes organizers for kids, but I repurposed it and now I use it to organize extra stuff. I made the storage boxes inside of it from recycled cardboard and some Dollar Tree contact paper. There were five of them at one point, but two of them got messed up and I never made new ones. The drawers are pretty messy, which I'm sure that you would kind of expect. In the small drawer, I keep random things like school supplies and headphones. In the top left drawer, I keep my hair and makeup stuff. I have more makeup that's either in the bathroom or in my closet, but truthfully, I don't really wear it that much. Underneath that, I keep jewelry and hair accessories, and in the bottom drawer, I have a bunch of miscellaneous items. The bottom drawer is pretty scratched up because my cat Lucky used to like to use it as her personal scratching post. I'm sure that I'll get a lot of comments saying like, oh, you should repaint the desk and fix it up, but you know what? We're just gonna call it character. But anyways, to the left of my desk, I have this trash can, which I always forget that I have, and some papers, and my old laptop that stopped working on me a few months ago. I started the desk makeover by organizing the drawers first. I didn't really buy or make any new items for this, since I already had a system in place. In the smaller drawer, I used shoebox lids to organize smaller items. These are actually the lids from the boxes that I repurposed in my marker organizer video. I organized more of the small items using recycled boxes and some dollar store products. I reused this Swedish fish container and I used it to organize my headphones. There were quite a few things that didn't belong in my hair and makeup drawer, so I removed them and I put them back where they belonged. I wiped out the drawer with a Clorox wipe and I rearranged this drawer to make it more functional. I put the products that I used the most, like hairbrushes, hair ties, and deodorant in the front, and the things that I use a little bit less frequently, like beauty blenders and makeup brushes in the back. Something kind of cool that I have in here that I made when I was around 12 or 13 is this hair accessory organizer. I cleaned out an old peanut butter jar and I cut it in half, and I decorated the outside with duct tape, washi tape, and stick-on gems. I hot glued magnets to the top edge to put bobby pins on, since they're magnetic, and I store hair ties in the bottom. This is one of the most useful things that I have ever made, and I definitely recommend making one. I didn't do much to the jewelry slash hair drawer because I didn't really feel like going through it, so I just organized it a little and got rid of a few things. I couldn't really show you me cleaning out the bottom drawer since it had personal things like checks in it, but here's a quick look at the before and after. I found this self-portrait that I did in art class in 8th grade, a lot of you guys have asked to see old art of mine, but honestly, I didn't really draw much until I started this channel. This made me kind of want to try using the grid method again. Let me know if you guys would want to see a video on that. I also wanted to show you guys my old laptop as kind of a warning. A long time ago, I made a DIY keyboard cover using sticker paper because another YouTuber suggested it, and I won't name any names, but she said it was removable, and as you can clearly see, it was not. 
so I ended up buying a silicone one to cover up how gross it looks. And the moral of that story is that there are some things that you're just better off going to the store and buying instead of trying to make it yourself. Next, I cleaned all of the random crap off of my windowsill, and I decided that you guys needed to see this Starbucks flash drive that I made, which is a YouTuber DIY that actually did work, but I never used it because it's kind of dumb and like regular plain flash drives are much more convenient. I wiped off any of the dust from the windowsill, and then I did the same thing on the other side. When that was done, I put the things that actually belonged there back up. After that, I cleaned off my desk, which surprisingly wasn't even that bad. To decorate the space above my desk, I took this pin board that I made quite a few years ago, and it has definitely seen better days, and I turned it into a YouTube planner. Initially, this was a wooden frame from Michaels with a piece of repurposed foam board in it. The foam board used to be a big collage that I made that I later cut to fit the inside of the frame and covered with leftover fabric. As you can see from the back of the frame, I apparently painted it green at one point, but anyways, I just cleaned up the frame and cut a piece of cardboard to fit inside. I was lucky that I had the old piece to trace around, but it would be really easy just to trace the inside of the frame and do it that way. You honestly don't even need the frame for this project, and you could just use a random piece of cardboard. I covered the piece of cardboard that I cut out with purple duct tape, and I cut two thin strips of light purple duct tape to divide the board into three sections. I placed sticky notes on the board as a guide, so I would know where to put the strips of tape. Then, I cut out the words Film, Edit, and Upload from some vinyl with my Cricut machine, and I placed them on the top of the board along with another strip of duct tape. I used more duct tape to attach the cardboard pieces into the frame, and used command strips to hang it on the wall. I used a flat push pin to pin the pad of sticky notes to the board so that they would be easily accessible. I got this idea from a YouTube channel called Clutterbug. She makes great cleaning and organizing videos, and I'll make sure to link her videos down below. I usually just write video ideas in the Notes app on my phone, but I thought that it would be helpful to have a visual reminder of what I need to do each week. When I have a video idea, I can just write it on a sticky note and put it up, and then move them accordingly. I also had this magnet board that my dad helped me make, and it's in the same type of frame from Michael's. I had moved it next to my big whiteboard wall in my room, but it wasn't getting much use, so I relocated it back to the area above my desk. Speaking of the whiteboard wall, would you guys like to see a video of me just like drawing a big picture on this, like a big mural for my room or something? I don't know if that would be an interesting video or if like nobody would care. Comment down below! I made this magnetic pen holder from Perler Beads, which now that I think about it, this would have gone better next to the whiteboard to hold dry erase markers, so I might have to make another one to put there, and I'll probably just put it on the wall with some command strips. Here's the pattern I used. You can pause or screenshot the video if you want to copy the pattern. You should have a back piece, two side pieces, a bottom piece, and a front piece. They all fit together like a puzzle and can be secured together using hot glue. The next part is optional, but I attached magnets to the back using some more hot glue. If you don't have magnets, you can also use command strips to attach it directly to the wall, like I did with my perler bead shelf. I think I might make something similar to put beside my bed to hold my TV remotes, since I always seem to be losing them. I put the magnet board back up beside the YouTube planner with more command strips, and I put everything back on my desk. And here's just a quick look at the pencil holder up close. I know in my Perler Bead shelf video, some people were saying that they didn't trust it, but it's been up since I made that video, since like January, and it has like a bunch of crap in it. So here's me just showing you guys that you can, in fact, put a whole ton of pencils in here and nothing will happen. It's actually really sturdy. I got this wooden tray from Michaels, which I will be painting in a future video, I just have to wait for the paint to get here. And I used it to store various fidget toys on top of my desk so that they weren't cluttering up the drawers. I actually have a bunch more of these, and I'm storing them in the trash can that I made in my trash can makeover video. I decided that having everything sitting on top of the windowsill was making the space look a little bit too cluttered, so I took down the Funko Pops and stuffed animals and I moved them into a box in my closet. I bought some new curtains from Amazon and hung those up to complete the space. These curtains are a little bit thicker than the old ones that I have, and I really like these because you can like hide stuff behind them. It's really good for hiding the wires that are under my desk and all of the junk that's on my windowsill. So here's a look at my finished desk area. 
I know it wasn't a huge transformation, but I'm really happy with the space. I had thought about turning the white thing that's beside my desk into a desk hutch, but then the frames would have been covered, and so I just didn't do that. Let me know if you guys would like to see a video on the rest of my bedroom. It definitely needs a makeover. So here are today's shoutouts, and I just wanted to let you guys know that Autumn was the winner of the giveaway. Don't be too sad if you didn't win, there will be way more giveaways in the future. If you want a shout out in my next video, go on to my create this book video that I just posted and comment any questions that you guys have for me. I'm going to be doing a Q&A type video soon and I would really appreciate it. So thank you guys so so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and as always make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one and make sure to follow me on Instagram, it is at Wellermegs and yeah I love you guys so so much and I will see you guys tomorrow, bye!